Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing Far From Noise. I've first seen it at Paris Games Week and it just came out today. So let's dive right into it. So allegedly it's a really story driven game. So I'm really excited about that. And I think that's what we've already seen in the trailer. Hello? Hong Horn or hello? Let's go with that. Is anyone there? <laughs> Can anyone hear me? Okay, let's let's try it a bit louder. Right, just breathe. What's the point? What is life? Why are we still here? <laughs> um, yeah, let's let's try to stay calm. Let's try to breathe. Deep breaths. In and out. <sighs> All right, we got this. No sudden movements. Yeah, I'd, I'd say the same. I mean, uh, you're on the verge of death. It's probably not even that steep anyway. Who am I kidding? Okay, let's let's try to keep it real. This is it. We have to die. It's over. Like I said, just like that. End of the game. <laughs> that is it. God, I'm an idiot. I am toast. One minute everything's hunky dory. What? Um. God, I'm an idiot. All right, let's go with that one. I wonder if these um. I wonder if the dialogue really um, affects the game. Do our choices really matter? I don't really know that. A certified idiot. Yeah, that's literally me. <laughs> there I go, driving away from my hardships. Goodbye problems, goodbye life. No, I don't want to die. What? No, no, no. This game can't be over yet. Farewell hardships. Um... I'm driving by the sea. I'm invincible. Look at yourself. No, let's let's try to stay positive. Dot dot dot. I've really screwed up, haven't I? We need help. Somebody needs to help me. Right, come on, old. Name the car. Don't name the car. Okay, let's name it. Carlos. Laura or Mela Mala? I don't know how to say that. Um, Laura? We've been through my word. Uh, we've been through worse than this, Laura. My rusty steed. <laughs> this sounds actually pretty nice. Can't you just get out of the car, just climb through the car and try to, I don't know, go through the back window? Damn it. Okay, now we've screwed it up. Don't do this to me now. I thought you were, I thought you were done breaking down, Laura. I can accept the end from nature, but not you. This is so deep. Wow. I'm five minutes into the game and that's what I get. Oh my gosh. Hong Kong. Okay, if I honk the horn, it will... I think it will leave immediately. But if I just say back off, it could maybe stay here? No. Stay with me. Okay, this is it, I guess. Sorry, squirrel. Today is just not my day. Yeah, I see that like the sun is going down oh dear oh help us oh my gosh 
It's massive! <laughs> what? Oh god, this just keeps getting worse! Let's say it's massive! Hey, be careful. Hmm. And now it's just leaving. Yes, it's going to leave us right there. Can you help me? Why should I help the deer? I mean, this is life threatening. We need help. It can talk, perhaps? What? <laughs> Are you actually happening? Can you understand me? Did you just talk? There are non uh, there are none happiest in this world but those who enjoy freely a vast horizon. That was deep. Is that a yes? What does that mean? Right, so, can you hear me? Nothing. I can. Holy! Well, my mind melted sooner than expected. This can't be real. Can it not? Well, I don't know, to be honest, it feels pretty real. Who decides what is real and what is not? I guess it's subjective. Man, this game is deep. It is a matter of truth. Yes, that's it, truth. Okay, I know. Quick, tell the truth. The ocean stretches unfathomably before us, and in it lies mystery and truth. Bloody hell, what that the truth was that the truth? It felt so poetic, yeah, this game really is. It is as true as I know truth to be. Well, all right, I don't think I feel any more relief about this. Ooh. If you decide this is real, it is so. How can I just decide on reality? What if my real's wrong? Well, this game really makes me think because if it's real to you, why shouldn't it be real to others? I mean, if I believe in them, if I believe in something, it's real to me, isn't it? And well, okay, how can I just decide on reality? Let's take the right one. Does it matter? I don't know. Wait, what was it before? Uh, what was... Wait, what was it you said before? There are none happiest in this world. But those who enjoy freely a vast horizon. I don't think this qualifies for freedom of happiness. Well, I think you'll be the hap I think you'll be the happiest if you really um, have an open mind, and I think that's what the day means with a vast horizon. Because if you don't have a va vast horizon, if you don't have an open mind, you I don't know you're really stern and you just like don't like to try out new things. And this won't really make you happy because you're always negative about things you don't know and you just do the things you already know or you already did before but isn't it better to try out new things um, stuff like that so I don't know is something wrong is something wrong just one more time I'm not sure I can feel free or happy right now. Yeah, I wouldn't feel happy in this situation either. Your soul is free to follow the flow of the ocean's tide. 
Um, yeah, that's really a funny idea of being free, isn't it? Well, sure, what I said before, if you have an open mind, if you let your soul be free, um, you can have happiness. But how does this relate to this situation, honestly? You are alive. Well, for now, you have an ocean of possibility before you. You mean the ocean, a literal ocean? Well, you have both. But the feeling of looking deeply across an ocean, there is no parallel. The pulse of the tide, the sigh of the breeze, captivating elusive horizon. You have simply been gifted an anchored perspective. Fortunate, I would even say. A short burst of oceanic enlightenment, maybe. I admire your optimism. Well, I, I I like what the day says, but in this situation it's just freaking me out. And then eternal death. Yes, that's uh, what a that's what awaits us. You seem to still be clutching on to me. This isn't about life, it's about death. Only just. If you are alive, that is enough, that is all. Life or expired, well then I'm in limbo. <laughs> is this is this how you envision limbo? To be honest, kind of yes. I I've hitherto in I've hitherto in day in delve in David what? Is this how you envision limbo? Yeah, let's try to speak as I don't know, as deeply and I don't know. Is this how you envision limbo? Yeah, let's try to be as deep as we can, so let's go with the right answer. I suppose in time all becomes clear. You really are an unrelenting fountain of encouragement. Yeah, totally. Thank you. Above all, Above all else, we have hope. What the heck am I supposed to be hopeful for now? Hope's gone. Way gone, yeah. It will be a far more desperate time when hope is lost. More desperate than this? Yes. Well, I've lost the plot instead then. Can I ask you a question? Potentially. Am I actually balancing off the edge of a cliff or am I hallucinating? Well, that is the question, right? This is really happening. Oh no, this was a wrong question because of course we're on, we're balancing on a cliff, but this could be a dream, right? It doesn't have to be real, so we should have gone with the right question. The edge of an immeasurably steep cliff. Great, thank you very much. Not at all. How on earth am I supposed to get off this cliff edge, dearie? How close to the edge I am I? Well, we can see it. you're, you're almost um, yeah, falling off, so let's go with this one. Breathe. Slowly. Breathing. Yeah, we did that before, but how is that helping us? It's a strange place to be. Well, I think it's a beautiful place. I could ask you the same question. I don't feel like talking about it. And anyway, I totally ask you first, as you wish. I drift as a cloud to the various places that call to my spirit. This is one such place to watch the world unwind. It's beautiful. I'm glad you agree. Not everyone can appreciate what lies before them. This is true. No, let's not ruin this moment. Let's say it's stunning. Do you come here every day? I go where I'm drawn to. These cliffs have always held significance. 
It seems the hands of fate pointed us both here today. What drew you here? There is something special about this edge of the world. Well, I mean, I don't pick any old rock to throw myself off. I have taste. Does this place feel strange to you? I don't know what it is. It feels significant. Yeah, like we're here to watch the sun explode <laughs> like we're the only two left in the world, yeah. For all we know, we are. That doesn't bode well for the fate of the planet. The planet will continue on. Probably better off. What do you think it is, the significance? Everything. Well, right, combined. What you feel is sunbeams streaming through the sky. Weave through every hum of life on this cliff. Until they sing. The, the significance is the harmony, the sum of life. Death is essential in this scene. For the harmony of life brings only the more pure for its impermanence. Would any of this be quite so beautiful were it everlasting? If you like. I guess I just feel like a spectator. Spectator? I'm like a fly stuck on a snow globe. I feel like I feel like I'm looking at something. Not like I'm part of some grand, beautiful design. Largely down to your perspective. Like a narrow mind? An obscured line of sight. Obscured. Blurred. By the arrogance of youth? What? I think I lost it. What is going on? By the glass of the windows. Oh. In this moment, that is how it feels. Your life hangs in the balance. The threads of your fate lay exposed. The car holds you captive. What matters is what is outside. Outside the car? Yes, outside. Let's see what we have. The ocean, obviously. The sky. Well, the sun is gone already. <laughs> A talking deer. Whenever I have found myself in a worrisome situation. Far from hope, far from resolve. I have always found the comfort to be in, a, in nature. What if your worrisome situation is nature? Sometimes you have to stand over the brink of fear in order to know truth. To stare into oblivion. The moment of perfect exhilaration will offer clarity. A tranquil restoration. Well, if I had to describe this game with one word, it would be tran tranquility, probably. Choose to focus your attention on the horizon, just the horizon. The horizon. Focus. Okay, what happens now? I think this game is really beautiful. Like, you have to think about life, just think about, about it, makes you think. So, and that's something I really like. It's not, it doesn't have any 
grand or special gameplay features it's only dialogue but I think it's really beautiful I think the music the talking deer it all fits so perfectly together it's what oh are, are we flying what is going on now okay are we dead are we already dead what should I choose? Uh, let's say we were talking about... I think we were talking about life, weren't we? Life. Are you ready to be a witness to life conclusions? Who is to say it concludes? What is it? A traveller approaches. A traveller? Crab, what now? What, where? It came from the rocks and the flowers, the birthplace of all evil. I don't see anything. What is that? It's a crab, isn't it? No, it's a turtle, I think. Oh, I see it! A crab, is that a turtle? Yes, it is. I believe it is a tortoise. I don't really know what the difference is. Like, one of them lives in the sea and the other ones don't, right? I'm on to you, tortoise. Why do you hate the tortoise? I have my reasons. It means no harm, look at it. You haven't seen them like I have, they're vicious. Vicious? Vicious, I was traumatized as a child, all right. Man, this looks nice. By a tortoise. Turtle. Different entirely. You know what their mouth is called? Whatever, still vicious. And there is a frog! Hell yeah! Oh hey, look, frog friend. Oh, watch out, sweet frog. They are killers. A secret meeting. They're very really secret, guys. We can see you. Be careful, Froggo. They're not to be trusted. <laughs> what? That's adorable! It's like a turtle taxi, oh my gosh, that was awesome! I should have taken this one. Oh my gosh, I love that so much! Do you think they're dating? I'm crying. The world is a beautiful, a beautiful place sometimes. I'm beginning to like tur turtles somehow. You never see the stars? Where I live, you're lucky if you see the moon. Yeah, that's true if you're living in big cities because you, for some reason, you never really see the stars there. This must be isolating. They mean something when you do see them at least. Any more than choosing to live alone. In days of absence, I will long for a night sky. Don't you ever find it a bit overwhelming? Overwhelming. Just looking up all the the everythings oh my gosh i could look at night skies every day i love it it's so beautiful i feel like the weight of it all hanging there ah but the stars are here with us you see they share the night with us but why bother because it's beautiful why else why should it mean anything they're too far away to matter Distance is nothing. They are as much with us as I with you. The beauty of the night is its ability to le levitate you, weightless one moment, and swallow you the next. Oddly enough, it is actually nice being out here. Quite the night.
Where's the moon? Yeah, where is it? Behind you. Just out of sight. On countless evenings past, I have found myself here. Gazing up at the moon. Lost, weightless, suspended in time. All the while, the stack and the moon gazes back. The stack and the moon? The stack and the moon. You do not know it. I think you mean the man and the moon. The man and the moon. Okay, I think we should end it here. So this is really a game um, that lets you think, that lets you question life. Just It's just really deep game that makes you think about life and death. And I think it's beautifully done. Um, yeah, it's only dialogue pretty much, which I didn't know before, but I still really enjoy it. So, so if you want to play it yourself, I'll link it down in the de description box so you can check it out on Steam. As far as I know, it's also coming to PS4 very soon, or it is already out yet, I'm not really sure about that. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Thank you so much for watching and we will see each other in the next one. Bye guys!